Hi there, Wrangler owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rhino Rack's Pioneer Platform Roof Rack and Backbone System. You can get these in two different options with quick release legs, or you can get the more permanent fixed arrow legs on there. The quick release will allow you to easily get this rack off by just squeezing a couple tabs together, and the arrow will be a more traditional removal, just like you would any other roof rack by loosening up your hardware. Strapping things to the hard top of your Jeep is not only impractical, but in many cases it's not going to be possible. The backbone system is going to give us secure mounting locations on our hard top, which will allow us to either install a platform roof rack like we're showing off here, or you could also install roof rack systems from Rhino Rack. You can just get regular crossbars as well. This is going to give you much more area though to strap things on and is going to be my preferred pick over just a regular roof rack for your Wrangler. Here you can see the backbone mounts where they install onto the hard top. And these are the quick release feet that we're showing off here that comes with the kit. These are all going to come with your system as well as the platform roof rack here. These feet though are compatible with just regular crossbars. So if you have certain accessories that just desire crossbars and didn't want to use the entire Pioneer platform rack, you could swap that out for those crossbars for your particular accessories. An example of an accessory you might want to attach to crossbars is this bike rack from Rhino Rack. This is allow you to put your bike up on your roof. However, it's not compatible with our Pioneer platform rack due to the way it attaches. So you will need regular crossbars if you're gonna go with something like this. So maybe you wanna get rid of some of that gear up there and just hit the trail. You could slap this up there with some crossbars real fast. But as you can see here, we can get plenty of gear up on top of our Pioneer platform rack. You can use it to just strap down gear, which is really nice with crossbars. A lot of times you can't just strap bags on it. You're gonna have to buy a cargo basket or something to put on there. With this, we can strap our gear directly to it, which is really cool. If we look at all the platforms that run down, we've got T-slots in each one, so we can mount accessories to them, which we have plenty of accessories available here at E-Trailer, such as a jerry can mount right here. We've also got propane mounts and many other accessories so you can help get some of that gear that would be in the back of your vehicle or on a cargo basket up here on top of the roof. And you can see how much area we've got with this rack here on top of our Jeep. It measures 72 by 56 inches, so you can see it's just a massive area we've got up here. It has a carrying capacity of 264 pounds, so that you get most of your gear out of your, the back of your Jeeps up on top so you can free up some room inside. And you do want to keep in mind that when loading up your roof rack here though, that if you do do off-roading, it does decrease the carrying capacity here due to all the dips and hard hits that you have going off-road. The road's just not as smooth as it used to be when you're on the road, so you're going to have a lot more impacts that transfers up here to the roof rack, dropping it down to 176 pounds. And it's able to achieve those weights due to the interior bracing on the backbone system. You can see here where we've got reinforcement that runs down inside of our hard top to ensure that our hard top here is going to be able to support all that extra weight we're going to be putting on it. The entire rack is going to be constructed of aluminum, and that's definitely nice because we've got it on our hard top here. It's going to cut down on its weight, which is going to mean we have more capacity available to us to put on the rack rather than using a heavier metal. Aluminum also doesn't rust. So we don't have to worry about that and it's covered in a black powder coat finish to protect against any other types of corrosion. Now you do want to keep in mind that the platform rack here is a little bit different than a roof rack. Our T-slots run front to back rather than side to side, and they are a slightly different size, so you want to make sure you have accessories that are designed for platform racks. Before you put your feet on your rack, if you purchase the additional spacer kit, this doesn't come with your kit, but it's a separate kit that can space out your rack to give you more room between the roof of your vehicle and the bottom of the rack. You're simply going to take the bolt that comes out. So we just took the cover off the end here. Just put your key in there and remove the cover. That'll give you access to the bolt here. We're going to use the tool that came with the feet to remove the bolt. We're just threading that off of there. We're then going to slide the bolt out. We don't need the bolt, but we do need the lock washer and the washer. We're going to take the longer bolt that comes in our spacer kit. We're going to slide it through lock washer first, followed by flat washer. We'll then slide it back through the hole. You can see it's a lot longer there. We'll then take our spacer plates and put them on. Depending on your orientation, you'll have one or two plates. We're only, this is gonna be going in the front and the middle, so we just have one plate. If you're putting this in the rear, you'd put the thinner plate on first and then the larger plate. And then we simply take the large T-nut here and thread it on. We're now ready to put this onto our rack. To install it into your rack, the end simply just drops down in there. 
you'll then take your, I use the little wrench that comes included with it, and I just kicked it sideways. And then we're just gonna twist it and snug it down. At this point, I don't like to tighten it all the way yet because you do have to set the appropriate distance for the vehicle that you're gonna be attaching it to. So I just run it on until just enough to where it's snug to hold it in place. We'll be loosening it and adjusting it for the proper distance uh, apart once we go to put it on the vehicle. So we'll repeat this for the remaining legs and get those all on our rack. We're gonna be attaching our feet to the backbone system installed on our vehicle here. If you need to see how the backbone installs, we've got videos here at eTrailer getting these mounted up onto your hard shell. When you're not using your rack, there are covers that come included with it. You can see here how it covers up the ears, that'll keep out any dirt and debris, and it also makes it look nicer when it's installed. When you're ready to install your rack, you simply pop off of there. You just wanna make sure you pull them all off so they're not in your way when you're going to set the rack in place. Now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna lift our rack into position. I've gone ahead and measured the distance between the mounting locations on the roof and matched up our feet with them to make things a little easier. And now with everything adjusted, we can go ahead and drop it down into place. I do have both of the tabs squeezed together and pushed inward. That'll keep it locked into the release position there, making it easier for it to drop down. We can then just pull out each tab. Sometimes you have to give a little bit of a downward pull and you can see they both separated to lock in place. Once you've got it locked in, you can take your cover slide it into place, and then lock it down with the key. We're gonna repeat that for the remaining feet. Now we've got it secured to our rack. We're ready to load up our favorite accessories and hit the road. And that completes our look at Rhino Rack's Pioneer roof platform rack with backbone system.